Hey there viewers, and welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. It's time for a free tip Friday, quick tip Tuesday, 2007 Chevrolet. It's got the big 5.3 in it. Now this is gonna apply to your Chevrolets back to like 01-ish. Mysterious coolant loss, not the water pump, nothing else. Don't see any leaks on the outside. Let me show you where it's likely going. And this, my friends, is the passenger side cylinder head on this Chevrolet. Man, you've had a little peat right through there. Get some of that smudge out of there. I've got about, let me see here, 15 PSI of pressure on the cooling system. And then we wait. Enhance. Enhance. We're going to look down in here, and we're going to see our coolant start coming up through the crack in the head. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Let me readjust the light for you. Re-enhance. Re-enhance. Come right down. I don't know if it's going to show up good on the video. Focus. We're going to see. Oh, there she goes. We got one dribble. It's going to start building up a puddle there. We can see we have about two drops forming. Let me get a pointing device right here. That's coolant. That's coolant. Let me blow it out of the way for you. Now supposedly this is only on the GM engine with the cast tech heads. However that is not true. This happens on the GMs with the GM heads. But we can see that puddle starting to form again already. I'll give this a minute. Yeah there you go. Thanks for the light. And you'll see it'll just start forming, forming bubbles there from the crack in the head. The only fix for this is to replace the cylinder head. Some other telltale signs on your Chevy that it's happening is you'll see under this valve cover on this end of the cylinder head we've got a nice brown hue. And as we go down this way it's nice and steam cleaned. And uh, that's a kind of a telltale sign too that the coolant is leaking there. Comes up, steams under the head. And then we can see the water droplet. See right there. Hopefully that's going to show up good for you. But the longer we leave it sit, it'll eventually build a big puddle uh, on the bottom side of that head bolt. Anywho. Here is the fix over in the box. All the parts from Napper. Not a sponsor. We've got new head bolts. We have a new valve cover gasket new exhaust manifold gasket, new intake manifold gasket, new cylinder head gasket, multi-layer steel, and the new slash reman cylinder head, all the way from Mexico. So that's it folks, if you have the mysterious coolant loss in your Chevrolet and you can't find where it's going, uh, not many places it can leak on these uh, common spots are obviously the water pump. We see that a lot. The coolant hoses where they hook to the heater core on the firewall. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and the radiator. We see them leak out of the radiator tubs. But if you don't see any of your obvious spots, let the engine cool down, pull both your valve covers off, pressurize the system, and pay close attention. That's where the crack is right near the oil drain backs. Uh, like I say, there's, a, there's even a bulletin on it uh, that GM put out. I'll try to put a copy of that bulletin down there in the description box so you can read that and uh, you know see what they have to say about it. They admit there's a problem. They know there's a problem, yet they ain't going to pay for it. So that's all up to you. The other thing that's up to you is to go down there in the comment box, leave a question, comment, criticism, or concern. And just remember, viewers, I can do it. You can do it. Thanks for watching.